Wow, thank you guys. The, the potato face. <sighs> oh, I need my fan, I'm sorry. String fries, no. Illegally Blonde got one too. Thank you, Aisha. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, that sounds good. So, is it cyan? Okay, that emoji is because when I go like this, I look like it. Uh, well, thank you for giving us a heads up about that, foodie. That was the last time we really had caught up with her. It was chitty chat time. And throughout the stream, Foodie had begun to look a little bit more red face, a little bit different. Anyway, let me bring myself up to the stage over here. Hey, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And today I am just in for a treat. <laughs> I just happened to take a little peek -see over at Everyday Miriam, AKA Foodie Beauty's channel. And she has a triple cheeseburger and a volcano fries that she wants to, to share with us all. So I am very excited to get in there. But before we do, if you do like this type of content, make sure that you do subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, I love what people always have to say. And before we get in, just a little disclaimer, just because we know Foodie, she may say that we can't use her videos as reactions, but it's fair use, Foodie, it's fair use. And just, we I don't know what she's going to say. She just released this a few minutes ago. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she's going to say. This is an absolute raw react. This just got released. And... A little bit about me. I am a registered nurse here in the United States, and I have specialized in cardiac and oncology, and I have been working in healthcare for close to 15 years. And so I know people always say, oh, you always say you're a nurse. Well, I'm trying to say that I have a little bit of education to be horrified when I'm about to watch this unmanaged type 2 diabetic take down a triple cheeseburger. So these are all the things that her physician in Kuwait specifically said to try not to eat. And she's not really getting regular medical care. And so I cannot support this channel for showing this type of content. And I knew it was coming because YouTube payday was yesterday. That's the first day they start releasing payments. I should know because I got my pay yesterday from YouTube, my little bit for my monetization of this channel. So now we've got this huge mukbang coming out. <sighs> anyway, let's just get into it. I am going to speed her up to 1.5. I'm going to start out at 1.25. And if she seems too slow, we may then go up to 1.5. It's very short. Um, And the thumbnail also talked about her not having any motivation. So that is interesting to see. Okay, let's get over to this one. I'm going to bring up this big like this. Okay. All right, foodie. Take it away. I have to stay over here so I can make sure that there's... Let me get actually me a little smaller. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now you can actually see foodie better. Um, Let me see. Let me speed her up to 1.25 just because I wanted to play the other video at the normal speed so you could kind of see the level of motivation she has <laughs> the day before. All right. Let's see. It's got to be a cameo. Hi, welcome back to another video. Hey there, Beezers. Oh, Want a personalized good. video from no. me to you that no, you can keep forever? No. Or maybe a special Please shout out. Or maybe you just have a pressing question oh, for me you want answered. no. Bye. I knew it. Mm. Well, hello there. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. My beady eyed self here, about to have a mukbang for you. Let's call this fast food fry. Okay, I'm just going to point out if you see that Foodie's mouth is not syncing with the sound, that's on her end. <laughs> okay, it's not on my end. <laughs> that's her video. So she's really like 
thrown this out quick. <laughs> She's not even sinking. Girl, you need a friend. <laughs> Tell you this stuff. All right. People are like, how are you laughing at these people? Because she should not be telling people ever she's on some type of health journey or doing anything specifically. And she's about to take down this huge bag of, of, of food. All right. Continue. You know, in that case, most days are Friday for me, but anyway, this looks like gluttony. They included cutlery. That's a bonus. Look at that tiny napkin is not going to contain your fingers, girl. And I just want to say that I understand that she's supposed to be in a holy month at the moment. And this looks like absolute gluttony. So I think that you're not reflecting and you're angry at people. And now you're sitting out here eating a cheese, triple cheeseburger mukbang. Just, just, just reflect upon that. Homemade food is so much better. But you know what? I cooked yesterday. I didn't film. I didn't do a video. I don't really have a lot going on in my life. So I don't know what's going to happen with my channel, but... Ooh. I wanted, like, a triple burger, so... I got a triple burger. What do you mean, what's going on? What's going to happen with your channel? What do you mean? You were just celebrating the other day that you hit 100K subs. You should be thinking that something that should inspire you to want to do something more creative. I promise you. I think that you having never thought to work with other people who may be more creative than yourself in order to do other aspects to your channel is an Achilles heel for you, foodie. That's the one thing that everybody always says is that for the things that you are not good at or for the things that are time consuming, that or for things that maybe somebody who's been trained could add a new perspective and more exciting. You've certainly had enough money to have invested into your channel. These are all your problems, girl. Anyway, take out your pancreas. With, look at all this. I mean, I can't even with this food, girl. Seriously, you just don't care about your health. The, the amount, I, I mean, I'm sure... Whichever shop this is, somebody who does all the breakdowns like Sansa Cooks, check out her channel. She's awesome. Um, it's going to break down the amount of sodium and calories and all the garbage nonsense. She's going to be triggering for poor Chikara transformations off man on this stuff. She's going to be just, she's just trying to trigger us with this. But the only thing that's being triggered, girl, is the lack of insulin from your pancreas. Because you are just literally trying to shut that organ down. It is not going to be able to keep up with this. It is just not. It is not going to be able to keep up with the amount of carbohydrates that are about to go into blood sugars that have nowhere to go in your body. It's just wild that you are doing this. And that you sit here on a channel that you monetize still even if you are tanking in views and you're not getting super chats and nobody wants to support you in this anymore. You're going to have to get your money off the side of your cameos and whoever you got in your back pockets over there. Whatever nonsense you and Salau also got going on. I don't want to get into. All right. Now this is, I think it's called Sovia. It's these drinks, popular drinks that they make during Ramadan. Like this has like vanilla, coconut, it's really delicious. So I'm going to have some. You're so swollen, girl, in your hands. And we also have a bottle of this stuff. Oh, God. Probably Vimto. For Ramadan. I forget what it's called. Probably Vimto, oh, girl. Oh. It's really good, though. It's just... Oh. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Oh, great. Okay, Bismillah. I want some milk. this. Well, we were so glad that you were sharing so much informative information about the things that you are consuming. You're just putting this liquidy drink with goodness knows how many sugars and goodness knows what straight into your body without a care in the world. And that's why you are in the trouble that you are. I hate to say it, but those of us who have probably managed our weight over our lifetime and have never really been 
having to struggle with anything and kept it down and was like, oh, it's all genetics. I promise you, it's not genetics because my grandmother was overweight and my mother struggled with her weight my whole entire childhood. So to implicate that it's genetic is not true. The only part of the genetics is it made me aware that I needed to be conscientious of my weight and what I ate. And it wasn't that my grandmother, my mother ate terrible amounts. They just, the portions and things, they didn't understand control. So that was one of the things I've been always very aware of, looking at labels, reading labels, looking at sodium. Oh, your mother must have taught you that. No, they didn't. I'm so tired when people, yo, it's because you had access to information. I was born in 1969. <laughs> what access? I lived in Mexico in the 1990s for seven years, Mexico City. Uh, there was the dawn of the internet coming out in about 1996 because I went to the first ever internet convention in London in 1996. I was a couple of, I lived a couple of years in London. I promise you. So for all these things that people say that you supposedly get, oh, it's because your parents had it. No, I was the product of a teenage mother. And they divorced when I was young and my dad wasn't around. So I, it's just when I hear all these things, you, some of us, it's like, oh, you had. No, I didn't. I didn't have any money. <laughs> you know, so uh, the privilege other than just being born, you know, the right race and, you know, being slightly more attractive than my peers might have been the privilege that I got. And maybe, I'll, you know, do better at school because I knew if I didn't do well in school and get that free university education that was being offered in the UK, that was my ticket out. That was my ticket out. And I had received full grants. You know what that means? That means my mother and my parents didn't have any money for me. When you're getting the full grant and all that stuff, thankfully I did because my parents would have never given me anything. <laughs> So I wasn't spoiled like that. Got a few things that were nice on occasion that made me look like I was spoiled. But I almost think it was performative of my mother now, looking back in hindsight. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So I just say, you know, as a reactor, I'm certainly a little, you know, more going to look at this person and not really want to hear any of her excuses. Oh, continue with this burger and your moans and you know let trauma dump this poor audience who has allowed for you foodie to have lived a very good easy life for the past seven years why don't you just have a dump a moan on them let's go mm. tastes like grape juice to me that's, well, that's right it's a very popular drink on the back Sorry, I went on a complete tangent from her drinking a drink because she can't even be bothered to figure out what she's putting in her body. That's right. And then I talked about learning the labels and then, you know, this just went off because that's, you know, the reality of things, people. So when anybody says I just didn't, you, there's so much access to the information nowadays that you should be able to look for and, and look for people that you think have professional qualifications rather than just some influencer who sells you some nonsense and then gaslights out like foodie's about to do. I need to listen to her. She's just sorry. Just want to clarify. Let's continue, girl. I don't want to make this too long. I got to get going. I promise I got to, I, I need to find my, sorry, hook up with my friend, not hook up. Sorry, that's the wrong word here in the States. <laughs> Not hooking up. <laughs> I need to go catch up with a friend. Dang. All right, foodie. Keep going. You got me all tongue tied. Okay, so these fries, I don't even know what's on them. Jalapenos, onions, ground meat, uh, beef bacon, cheese, and some kind of spicy sauce. Oh, great. Yeah, here we go. Great. First bite for you. Mm. Oh, God. The beauty bite, of course, for the feedies. The feedies, <laughs> you got to give them their, their content, girl. They're called volcano fries. Oh, God. Just that's what's good. gonna like happen. Thick cut, like a steak fries. Do you know why they call them volcano fries, girl? Because that's what's gonna come out your backside after you consume all this crap. A volcano. Jesus Christ, girl. 
all that and then all that all of this is carcinogenic it's terrible your blood sugars are going to be raging all this fried nonsense god you hate yourself keep going where are you not going to take your channel nobody cares for your mukbangs nobody wants to watch you literally kill yourself on camera anymore boring all right, you got me heated, Phoebe. It's Friday. I'm tired. I've done a lot of reactions this week. I need to calm down. All right, girl. I'm just, it's irritating to watch this. I'm just going to say, knowing how high her blood sugars and just her moan to the audience, it's irritating. All right, I'm becoming irritating. All right, continue. I don't like those skinny straw fries. Like, I just find they get too cold and like hard fast. Okay, I've never had, I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. Let's see. All right, how am I going to dislocate my jaw? Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> Greasy and cheesy. Girl, you don't even look as excited as you used to when you used to tuck into something like that in Canada. Not even the burger is giving you the bang for the endorphin rush anymore because you've just ate so much of this stuff that your taste buds are becoming numb to it. I'm being deadly serious, but you're just going to continue. And that's where these folks get into trouble. But this is their content, which is, really isn't content. I mean, how? Anyway, continue, foodie. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. I am just going to preface while Foodie tucks into this that for breakfast, because, you know, and I don't show it like that. I had two what they call like nut seed. And this is the absolute God's honest truth. Um, uh, uh, breads that come from Trader Joe's. So they're called like Norwegian crisp bread. And I found that I really like those because you get the nuts and the seeds and the fiber without getting you know, a super heavy amount of carbohydrates. I just, and you get all those nuts and seeds that are so good for you. And then I put on, there's, um, you know, a couple of the different stores. I found that Target actually does, they're good in gather. Homemade classic guacamole has very few ingredients, is extremely good, not expensive. Oh my God. Like big chunks of avocado. It's exceptionally good I did not realize and I'll put that uh onto those crisp breads and I can promise you one of those containers and a couple of packs to those crisp breads they'll last me all week to do breakfast and then um I'm about to enjoy an acai bowl I'll go by the little vegan bakery because they do little special things on Fridays um as I go and head up towards my friend's house so that's kind of what I got planned. But that's what I literally ate for breakfast and, and a cup of coffee with some oat milk. <laughs> so I had two of those crisp breads with a little bit of the guacamole spread, like an almond crisp bread for breakfast. And it keeps me really well satiated until I want to grab, like I said, a little snack and then um, something a little larger for lunch. But I would never eat, obviously, um, like foodie. Because I understand you cannot do that and think that you're going to be in good health. And then here in the United States where healthcare is extremely expensive, I can't afford to be in poor health. Let's try this here. Hold on. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk about. Oh, you know what I saw today and I'm super excited for? I saw the trailer for Beetlejuice too. It's actually happening. Mm. Oh gosh, girl. That's some tasty meat. Oh my God. She just, she's like suddenly realizing to herself, uh, uh, where's the napkins? There was a shabby looking little, one of those little takeout napkins like popped in there in the cutlery. And uh, she obviously did not put that to the side. So she's nothing to wipe her very greasy, meaty fingers. 
and Meaty both with the food on it. And Meaty is just, her paws are so, look at the swelling on her hands. That is wild. And her nails at the top, they are so reddened. And this is just, you know, they've got like an excoriation around the top. Like something is like causing like really bad dermatitis, skin rash, something around the tops of her fingers. It's wild. So she's either using a caustic product when she's cleaning that is irritating her skin and she's not thinking to wear gloves. Something's going on with that though. Anyway, and, and of course she says she has nothing to talk about. Well, then they'll come out here and just show this food. Although it's just nasty at the end of the day. And we know who this is aimed at. And it's an ever-shrinking number of people that are into watching somebody eat just gross amounts of food as they damage their health. I think we need to get this out of fashion. It really needs to stop being normalized. This isn't healthy. This should not be encouraged. Anyway, Jenna Ortega. There's that Lydia. napkin, maybe. Lydia, the um, Winona Ryder. And Michael Keaton. It's too big to eat, like, all at once. So I'm going to eat it like this. Don't hate me. Oh. oh so cheesy. Uh-oh. Anyway. Who, who don't you want? Oh, there's the napkin. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Who don't you want to hate you, foodie? Who 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 is paying on the side, or who are you filming this for? That you're going to, you know, make a, other private copies and send it off. Who, who are you worried? Because most of your channel is worried about your health, isn't it? The ones I see in the comments who want you to do better. So who are the people who are going to hate you for taking the burger apart? Is that the monk bacon community? Who is that exactly? You need to clarify, girl. You've got all sorts of weird stuff going on, man. What is going on with you? Also has Catherine, like, has, like, most of the original cast. That looks like Beetlejuice is back to bees. Yeah, the bacon here is made with like beef mostly or turkey. Like at the Wendy's here, the baconator is called the beef beefinator. <coughs> it's so funny because yesterday when you were doing your chitty chat, cough girl, is that part of you getting like heart problems or are you choking on a French fry there? Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my train of thought. <laughs> oh gosh. Ah, oh, I killed myself when she started coughing. Oh, goodness, girl. All right, I did. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, I'm like trying to figure out who's this content for. But oh, th I got back to it. So yesterday, she was very hyperactive in that sort of chitty chat time. She had periods where she kind of got tired, and then she got kind of manic, and then she went down. So there's, there's very odd behaviors going on with her yesterday. And then now today, she's... Uh, Seems very, and I've got her to 1.25. She seems very um, down, like, and she said she had no motivation. So it's just, she goes up and down on these swings, okay? What is causing them, we're still trying to figure out. But she's down today. So, yeah. I haven't had beef in a while. Even the meatloaf I made yesterday. Was made with chicken. <laughs> I took two chicken breasts and ground them in a food processor. It was really good. <sighs> mm. All right, I'm going to speed you to 1.5, girl, because you are so slow. 
Even at 1.25, you were very slow. Do I said you fast? Yeah, you were at 1.25. My goodness. Oh, spicy. We did. Right. We just. I was just really busy yesterday, and and on top of that, I was like, you know what? You just want a day to yourself. We just wanted a day of like to ourselves, <laughs> not being on camera. I think I'll definitely have more days like that. <laughs> Was that a visa, Ron? Because you're very, you just got paid. Your visa is going to be due very soon because it's getting closer and closer to April. And before you run out of money, it'd probably be a wise idea if there's any cost involved in just paying for the gas or whatever you do to cross the border real quick and stay out and then come back. And now you don't want to cook because you guys have been traveling. So, you know, we all know you have to get it done at some point. We all know that. So it just be stop gaslighting your audience in some ways. Or if you are, don't expect them to keep paying you in super thanks and super chats. Because I don't think any, you know, only your feedies are going to want to pay for this content, girl. Nobody else. Everyone's kind of done and bored. I should change my name to every other day, Miriam. <laughs> well, foodie, you're supposed to be an English major, and every day could just be like normal Miriam. Every day, like just ordinary, rather than it being every day. Do you know what I mean? That would be each day, and then it would be separated. So I think you need to kind of look at that a little bit closer, girl. Okay? Just a little grammar thought there. <laughs> so I'm super stoked. I think it's September. It's coming out. I literally cannot wait. I can't wait for the content to get. I'm not sure if up. I should go <laughs> the first week. Be so packed. Oh. But. <clears throat> Is she talking about a trip? Yeah. Oh, since the visa run. Is that the visa run she was talking about? She's talking about a trip. I hope it comes here. God. <laughs> She's got me so confused. Girl, why are you smelling the meat? Well, taste right. You don't look very excited about that meal at all. I gave you nothing, girl. You got no bang out of that food. Other than that, my life is pretty uneventful. I just haven't been in the mood to, to film. Like, no motivation. Oh. Well, then get off YouTube. If you're going to produce this boring nonsense. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you. Give it up. We've all got other people we can respond to. Promise you, my glitters content gets as many views now. Water. I can roll up those folks. <laughs> mm -hmm. The burgers taste grilled. I haven't had a real good grill burger in a long time. Well, you don't look like it was that good, actually. And I'm just being honest. I mean, I look more excited when I eat, like, a piece of fruit. <laughs> it tastes like a um, home-cooked meal. Like on the barbecue. Oh, great. Wonderful. 
I think that's even that more carcinogenic on the grill. Excellent. We would always barbecue. Usually like a mix of burgers, hot dogs, chicken breast. Hmm. More food speak. More food food reminiscing. How how on brand for foodie? If you've never had corn on the cob grilled on the on the barbecue, I have to try it this summer. I'm sure she puts like 16 sticks of butter on that shit. Foodie, you're despicable. You don't even know what corn tastes like, girl. You've drowned it in so much butter in your lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> How can My you? mom would make her salads, like potato salad, macaroni, or linguine salad. Has like linguine and like a salad supreme spice seasoning with Italian dressing. And she puts like a whole onion in it, cut in half in the fridge overnight it's so good mm. everyone requests that she makes that if we go to like if we would go somewhere like to an event like a baby shower or something all this stuff all mm. mayonnaise salad i think oh. this has tamarind in it but i can't taste it. it tastes like grape juice oh it's a tamarind drink i'm sure it's got sugar in there <sighs> otherwise it'd be very very um <laughs> it wouldn't be as tasty <laughs> without a little sugar in that tamarind even though it's pretty good tamarind. I used to eat it in Mexico. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Gosh. Foodie. That was probably the most dull mukbang that you have come out with in a while. Oh, my goodness. I I think, did she say she's planning a trip? So maybe she hasn't gone on that visa run yet. Maybe it's upcoming. Who knows? Sometimes I have to be honest. I'll start thinking about other stuff while Foodie's talking because she doesn't say anything, as she said. She doesn't say anything. She doesn't learn anything new. She has managed to probably alienate herself now from the Muslim community since she has decided to slander that community recently and say about how they shouldn't be even judging her or saying anything about her. Um, she's come out as the police for everybody. She has tried to make beef with reaction channels. And a lot of our response has now been, and I think this is awesome, and the way we should try to go <laughs> as a group sometimes, is just, just ignore it a little bit for a day or two and go off, react to other creators who are just as interesting and our audiences enjoy these other content creators as much, if not more than you, foodie. Even though you were popular in my poll yesterday, I will give you that. But I think that's more because we see that you're a train wreck on, on the way down the station, um, headed into the platform and right to a wall. That high speed, or actually slow speed. <laughs> <laughs> but you're headed that way. All right, guys, I'm going to call this an end. I got things to do. Happy Friday, everybody. I promise you, I have way more things to do than foodie, and I could talk about all sorts of stuff all day because I'm interested in all sorts of things. So I have promised my dog, June Bug a walk. So take a look. We usually pop out little shorts, try to get people motivated to get their steps every day and stay healthy um, and take care. And I'm just going to ask you one more time, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the likes, and leave me at the end a little, um, let's leave me some french fries. French fries are the emoji that I am asking for this time. All right, guys, I'm going to head on out. French fries. Leave me french fries. Okay. Appreciate you all. And uh, look out for the next live. Bye.